Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and welcome back to the channel. And today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to install Photoshop CC on Linux. So let's get started. One of my most favorite applications to use in Windows is Photoshop and I kind of miss it on my Linux laptop. I do a lot of video editing and photo editing as well on my Linux laptop. In the past, you guys seen videos of me installing Microsoft Office onto Linux laptops, as well as various other applications. Now, one of the applications that I miss the most is Photoshop. Now I gotta say, even though I have GIMP and a few other tools on here to edit photos, Photoshop just has all the tools that I need and I'm so familiar with it that I rather prefer that a lot of the image editors that come of available to Linux. What we're gonna be doing today is using a script to install Photoshop CC 19 onto our Linux laptop. And it's gonna run everything in the background to get everything working for Linux. So now I will have everything we talk about linked down in the description below. Now let's begin. So here I am on my Linux laptop. Now this is my daily driver. This is the laptop I bring everywhere to work and I use it all the time. And I have not formatted this Linux laptop in quite some time. So. Uh, it is how it is. I like to use it this way. Now, if you, you guys always ask every time I do a video and I have a Linux desktop, you guys are asking what version of Linux I'm running. Now on this laptop, I believe I am still running 20.04 and I am using GNOME. So if you are familiar with this, I am using GNOME itself and with the Dracula theme. Everything that you see on this screen is actually done on my video. So how to install the Dracula theme, how to get desktop to the way it is, I have everything listed in my videos. I'll just put a playlist right over here if you guys are interested. So the script we're gonna be using today is called uh, Photoshop CC Linux. It's actually made by Gatorbit. I believe I'm saying that correctly. And the last time he updated this was about four months ago. And it's pretty simple to install everything. The only requirement that you need is a 64-bit edition distro. So Arch Linux, um, Ubuntu Linux, Debian, which whatever, as long as it's 64 bits, you should be able to get this script going. Now I'm gonna pop over to my terminal and do git clone and paste the git that I copied over. Let me see if I could make this a little bit bigger for you guys. And that's it. It's a little small script. And in here, there is a setup script. Now, if I go into the script directory, you're also gonna notice that there's other few scripts in here. Camera raw installer, if you guys need this, uh, Photoshop desktop icon, as well as the uninstaller just in case you don't need it anymore. Now, we don't need to run that yet, but we do need to run the setup script. So I'm gonna do dot slash setup dot sh, and here we are. Um, to install Photoshop CC, all I have to do is hit one, and there we go. Now, if you do want to configure the virtual drive or uninstall Photoshop, you could do it through this menu instead of going to that script folder. Now, it is gonna download everything, including the Photoshop CC installer and everything that is needed to install Photoshop onto your Linux laptop. So that includes Wine and everything. Now, the first thing they are gonna do is start to install Wine into a particular directory. And it will also have uh, Greco and I, I forgot the other thing that needs to be installed, Mono. Now, once you get to this menu, just leave everything as default. If you do wanna add some drives in here, you can, but for now, just leave everything as default. Hit okay, and it's gonna continue the installation. At this point, it's just gonna start downloading everything and give it about 10 to 15 minutes, depending on your internet connection. You should have everything installed soon. So right now it's running through Wine Tricks. I believe if it doesn't have it available, it will install Wine Tricks for you, but if it, I mean, if it, it doesn't do that, you could just install Wine Tricks yourself. Now, all we're doing right now is just waiting for this to finish downloading. I think it's about 900 megs. All right, so here we go. Once we have everything, it will tell you do not change the de default destination folder. So we're gonna hit next. It's gonna go through this whole entire installation. Shouldn't take too long once you have everything downloaded. Okay, you might ask for your password. So let's do that again. It's gonna edit some of the properties and think we should be able to start it in a few, in a few moments. Okay, that is it. Now, if I want to go down over here, there we have it, Photoshop. So I think the first time you start it up, it might come up with some errors. 
And I really do like that they changed this little thing over here. The main uh, pop-up thing. But yeah, give it a couple of seconds. It's going to start up. I'm going to minimize the terminal. And yeah, I do know that there is this error that happens. And then it doesn't happen ever again. I think it's because of this, this thing over here. Everything just works. So if I want to open a file. So let me see. Open. Where? What do we have? I'm going to go over to slash. Uh, where is it? Home. Don. Uh, videos. And I was working on the CM4 SATA. And here I have some Photoshop files. But I am going to open a brand new one. So I could show you. If I want to open that. There we have it. Photoshop. Working perfectly fine. And I can move the photos around pretty smooth. If I wanted to change the exposure, let me see. Uh, I think it's right here. Exposure, let's brighten this little thing up. Ooh, a little bit too much. There we have it. It's, it's, it's pretty much complete. Like I said, this laptop now I can edit and use Photoshop and use everything that I need on this. It is going to be amazing. That's the, this is the only little thing that I was missing. Like I was able to edit photos using PhotoGimp, which is very similar to Photoshop itself. I could do minor stuff. So if I open up PhotoGimp and I did a video on this before, like this is a Adobe Photoshop alternative. PhotoGimp is GIMP, but they uh, made all the shortcuts and everything to work like Photoshop. So the color theme is almost similar. And if I was to use all these tools and the shortcut keys are very similar to Photoshop. So I was just pretty familiar with using this, but there were some things that I couldn't do that I wish it was much easier to do in Photo GIMP, but it was like you could do in Photoshop with just one click. And I really missed Photoshop on this computer. While, like I said, I could still use Photo GIMP, Photoshop was just a better um, option for me. So now that I'm able to get this installed onto my Linux laptop, I'm able to fully edit everything that I need to on here. And if I use uh, Camera Raw, I should be able to also open the, um, the raw files that I have with all the pictures that I take. So going back into it, if I go into Setup again, I could just install Photo Raw, Option 2. And it's going to do the same thing like you would do in Photoshop and install that as well. Um, I'm just going to not save here. Hit install. And that is it. I should have camera raw in here too. Uh, I wonder if it's a separate application or can I just open Photoshop to use it? Oh, it is here. Camera raw filter. So if I open, um, let's see, open, let's see if I could just open a raw file. There we have it. We're able to read our raw file as well as edit whatever we need to edit. And if I was to, and I'm able to open the image, uh, discard, da, 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 that's fine. There we have it. I opened the raw image in here, go into view. If I want to get back into camera raw settings, I could just go right back into the camera raw filter. There we have it. Uh, yeah, that's pretty impressive. Not only am I able to use RAW now, also use Photoshop, do everything that I need to do. Now, all in all, I'm very glad that everything did work out. Uh, I didn't have much issues. The camera RAW was a little finicky where I had to hit OK a couple of times, but it did work. Now, I don't know what the legality of it, if that's the right way to say it, because I do own, I do pay for Adobe Photoshop subscription myself. But when I was installing this, it didn't really ask me for it. So not really sure when that will come into play or if it will ever because it did change some stuff around. Otherwise, it does work. So here you have it. That is it for me, guys. If you guys like this video, please hit that like button. If you guys have any other software you'd like to see, hit me up in the comments down below. If you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing. Also hit that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. And as I say, my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.